But right yeah. here, Jordan Hawkins getting drafted by the Pelicans signify a win now player who's going to come in and shoot a lot of three pointers for this team. Who's going to really help them out with being able to space the floor? They on keeping their core intact, I think. Yeah, and I think he comes in. I think he's... they played on. I think Zion. I think they are going to keep Zion. I think they're going to they're going to work it out because there's no. I mean, it's not saying there's like you only trade Zion if you can get adequate or greater value than him. And Zion, even though he hasn't, he's missed time. He's still played more games than Embiid at this point in his career. Yeah, and I think at this point you're looking at a guy who Jordan Nobody Hawkins, brings. Hawkins can play alongside Zion. He can play alongside Herb Jones. He can play alongside Brandon Ingram. He can play Jordan alongside CJ McCollum, Dyson Daniels. There's a plethora of guys that he fits next to. So I don't think it's next because his game isn't reliant on you know as his game isn't reliant on playing a certain way or having the ball bunch in his hands with other guys. And also, he's probably going to be very similar like to like Jeremy Lamb, but a better shooter. I would have take. I would have liked uh, Jalen Hutchfino for versatility here. Yeah, but they but, did, they didn't need it because he would take. They need, they, they 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 decided that shooting helped them more, so I can't really blame them. No, completely. Kobe Bufkin was also on the board too, but I can't really blame them here. You can't really blame them. They took who they thought at this point in the draft. You don't take best player available. You take best oh, fit no, no, usually. No. You take because like at this point, best player available doesn't mean shit because all these guys are around the same level. And these like, the couple of these teams right. are trying to make the jump from playoff team or to a playoff team yeah. to a contender. Yeah, that's why Dallas went Derek Lively, and that's why the Pelicans went. Yeah, I need to take the win now. The Raptors, I, the Raptors did a weird bit of both because if the Raptors really wanted best player available, they would have gone Cam Whitmore. But they also Grady Dick was literally like the second best guy available, and he was supposed to go off the board earlier. And he fit their team better, so yeah. So, so <laughs> I gotta. So Cam went more to the Jazz. So Cam went more to the Jazz at sixteen, right? Or he goes to the Hawks here at fifteen because Quinn Snyder wants a pro ready guy, and he's like, "Ooh, Cam went more. He doesn't have to add weight." No, completely. And I think right here, when you're looking at a team like the raptors and the pelicans they're trying they're trying to win so they're taking and even the mavericks they're trying to take the best guy available and i think it's definitely going to look like these are teams that are going to definitely take the guys who they can implement now play 15 20 minutes tonight and then when somebody that might get paid or they might be priced out that they have to trade they're going to be able to then you know have these guys plug in and play basically is how i see it but yeah like he worked he, he like the pelicans are not they're not looking to like oh not seem to what am i trying to say basically they're they're ready right now they're ready to win they have the core in place they gotta go they know they gotta go for it they know they need to win this year he so. sell tp oh my voice cracked <laughs> what are you fucking 13 Maybe. They just compared Jordan Hawkins to Ray Allen. That that's kind of absurd, but I do love Jordan Hawkins, so I think they're just comparing I mean they're just they're not showing up. The only highlights they're showing is like Celtics and Heat highlights where he came off the of screens. So they're I guess they're if they're comparing it to that version of Ray Allen, like old Ray Allen, that's like fine, but like he is not Ray Allen. I, I think that's that's, <laughs> that's, that, that's a little much. That's a little much, guys. I like Jordan Hawkins a lot, but that's that's a little much. Come yeah. on now. This is Ray Allen we're talking about here. Greatest shooter of all time, some might say. Yeah. Some I mean it's Steph Curry, but some might say so, it's still Ray yeah. Allen. You do not actually believe that, do you? You don't no. believe that, do you? You wanna turn on a light, you dark ass motherfucker? No. Huh? Because I'm gonna be uh, I guess I should turn a light. I, I was gonna hop off the stream, but I think I'll stay for the Celtics pick. Look at that. But we're over here. I think the most shocking. I think the most shocking thing everyone has right now is Cam Whitmore being just falling this far. I think first time I'm watching the draft since 2017, man. I think definitely it is a like basically. I think it, it, it's been an interesting draft because all the players that we presumed, except for me, Derek Lively, have, yeah. have gone. Like, like, 
Cam Whitmore is still available, which we didn't expect. Yeah. But, um, uh, like, it's an interesting draft. It's no 2013 draft, but it's interesting. It definitely it's is. It's not like when... It's not when Anthony Bennett went number one overall and Bill Simmons is just like, whoa, whoa. I think that was funny when Be- Anthony Bennett, no one expected yeah. Anthony Bennett to go. Everyone's, but- everyone's like, no one's Noel or um, who else was like really high up there? It was. Uh, New Orleans Noel. New Orleans Noel. Uh, ben McElmore was like picked fourth or fifth in that draft. Uh, Oladipo was like supposed to be. Wasn't Giannis in that draft? But he was like 13th or 14th. Giannis was like not a top five prospect. Not was Anthony Bennett though. Yeah, I thought that CJ McCollum was tenth. Shabazz Muhammad was fourteenth. So Muhammad we got 15. breaking news. We got who has been drafted by the hey, No, it's someone that we said because this team has Oh my it. god! Danny Age won this draft. Danny Age got Cam Whitmore at sixteen. Oh my god, Danny Age, bro. Kobe Buffkin. Kobe Buffkin, wow. 